coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Help a one-of-a-kind Rutan design get to Oshkosh. Gulfstream G800 makes first flight. From fantasy to reality via first ever EV tall commute. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Help a one-of-a-kind Rutan design get to Oshkosh. As Thomas Edison, Gottlieb Daimler, and Ron Popeil were to the furtherance of man's terrestrial technologies, so Bert Rutan is to the advancement of humankind's aeronautical endeavors. The forebear of Rutan's famous, globetrotting, space-going, industry-changing machines was a strange and wondrous craft he dubbed the very Vigan, on account of its sporting a canard after the fashion of Saab's 37 Vigan fighter aircraft. Rutan began building the very Vigan in 1968 and flew the rear wing forward canard pusher prop beastie in 1972. In lieu of wind tunnel testing, Rutan, a pragmatist, worked out the very Vigan's airfoil geometry by strapping a model of the thing atop his station wagon and measuring airflow and aerodynamic loads while driving at high speed along empty roads. 2022 marks the 50th anniversary of the very Vigan's first flight and Oshkosh appearance. Alas, only one flying specimen of the historic aircraft reportedly remains. The world's sole very Vigan belongs fittingly to the Rutan aircraft flying experience, the world's sole IRS-approved 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to Burt Rutan's home-built designs. The organization is working hard to get the airplane, which they call Lady Vi, to AirVenture. Regrettably, the harsh economic realities of this weird epic have exhausted the outfit's funds. Ergo, the good, hard-working, nobly-intentioned folks at RAFE are looking for a spot of help via a GoFundMe effort. After the break, Airplane Services announces 172 XP Alpha Advanced Instrument Panel Kit. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Airplane Services announces 172 XP Alpha Advanced Instrument Panel Kit. Airplane Services is now offering an advanced instrument panel kit, the 172 XP Alpha, developed specifically for Cessna 172 owners planning to upgrade their aircraft with the company's 180 horsepower STC. The kit can also be retrofit into 172's already upgraded with the aforementioned STC. The new avionics panel can be installed by airplanes or shipped as a complete kit for local installation. The 172 XP Alpha instrument panel kit arrives wired, interfaced, plumbed, pitot-static, and configured for airplanes 172 XP 180 horsepower engine upgrades STC SA4428 SW and STC SA2196 CE if applicable. NASA announces launch delay for Psyche asteroid mission. NASA has announced that the Psyche asteroid mission, the agency's first mission designed to study a metal-rich asteroid, will not make its planned 2022 launch attempt. Due to the late delivery of the spacecraft's flight software and testing equipment, NASA does not have sufficient time to complete the testing needed ahead of its remaining launch period this year, which ends on October 11th. The mission team needs more time to ensure that the software will function properly in flight. Capstone launch starts humankind back toward the moon. Rocket Lab has launched a small, moon-bound spacecraft from its New Zealand facility. 
The company's Electron rocket, a two-stage launch vehicle capable of delivering a 150-kilogram payload to orbit, is carrying a 55-pound microwave oven-sized spacecraft called Capstone, an acronym for Cislunar Autonomous Positioning System Technology Operations and Navigation Experiment. It's the first mission of NASA's Artemis program, which seeks to return human beings to Earth's moon. NASA hopes Capstone will verify that a specific type of moon orbit is suitable for the Lunar Gateway Space Station. Sikorsky Leveraging Engine Delay to Improve FARA Prototype A delay precluding delivery of a new engine for Sikorsky's Raider X prototype helicopter, the company's candidate for the Army's Future Assault Reconnaissance Aircraft Program, will not impact Sikorsky's design process for the prototype it will offer Army Brass, company executives said. During a June media event, Sikorsky senior engineer Pete Germanowski stated the delay afforded additional time to complete Raider X's design and reduce risk. And that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Gulfstream G800 makes first flight. Gulfstream Aerospace Corp. has announced that its new, ultra-long-range Gulfstream G800 successfully completed its first flight. The G800 departed Savannah Hilton Head International Airport and returned two hours later. The test aircraft made the flight using a blend of standard and sustainable aviation fuels. Gulfstream asserts the G-800 can fly 8,000 nautical miles at Mach 0.85 and 7,000 nautical miles at Mach 0.9. The aircraft's performance, range, and economy derive of the combination of its Gulfstream-designed advanced high-speed wing and all-new high-thrust Rolls-Royce Pearl 700 engines. The G-800's cabin can accommodate up to 19 passengers and offers up to four living areas or three living areas with a crew compartment. The G-800 cockpit is equipped with Gulfstream's next-generation symmetry flight deck and dual head-up displays featuring the company's new combined vision system, which includes enhanced flight vision system and synthetic vision system imagery. Certification and first deliveries of the $71.5 million G-800 are expected in 2023. The aircraft will compete directly with Bombardier's Global 8000, which is set to enter service in 2025. Bombardier claims the Global 8000 will have the capability to fly up to 8,000 nautical miles and reach a maximum speed of Mach 0.94. After these messages, first ever eVTOL commute. Pilot Communications USA is proud to introduce our latest headsets, the Carbon A1 Active Noise Reduction and the Carbon P1 Passive Headset. Carbon fiber makes our headsets 30% lighter than others, which significantly reduces pilot fatigue. Our Blue Link hand control unit allows you to connect two devices at the same time, and the record out capability can send audio to an onboard camera or digital recorder. Get the headset that's so light you may forget you're wearing one at pilot-usa.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. From fantasy to reality via first ever eVTOL commute. Jetson has completed what may be the world's first ever eVTOL commute with its single-seater eVTOL aircraft. The vehicle, dubbed Jetson 1, was piloted by Jetson Company co-founder Tomas Patan, who states, quote, We firmly believe the eVTOL is the future for mass transportation. We are committed to making this a reality, end quote. The June 2022 flight was conducted in Italy's Tuscany region along a pre-planned route that the Jetson 1 eVTOL traversed in 88% less elapsed time than an automobile. The race car-inspired Jetson 1 was unveiled fittingly by His Serene Highness Prince Albert II of Monaco on Thursday, June 9, 2022. The aircraft's lightweight aluminum space frame and a carbon Kevlar composite body are borne aloft by four twin-rotor electric thrust assemblies. Power is supplied by a high-discharge lithium-ion battery capable of sustaining flight for a maximum duration of 20 minutes. In concordance with its appellation, the Jetson 1 is a one-person vehicle. 
Turnstrom's assertions are substantiated by Jetson 1's engineering, which comprises complete propulsion redundancy, triple redundant flight computers, a ballistic parachute, a safety cell chassis, crumple zones, LiDAR-aided obstacle and terrain avoidance, hands-free hover and emergency hold functions, propeller guards, and a protective composite seat with harness. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.